we know that presumably next Friday, Ashes of Creation will be showing us our first Alpha 2 raid boss, and now we know exactly what we can expect from this event to lead us into the summer of Ashes of Creation. Next week, for the first time since Alpha 1, we will see a multi-party raid take on this boss. Not just 4 people in a party, but perhaps 16 or even 24 people, if not more. A party in Ashes of Creation is 8 players, for those of you who are wondering where I pulled these magical numbers from. So, if it's 3 parties, 24 people, 2 parties, 16, 1 party would be 8 people. We don't know how many multiple are, but I imagine somewhere around 20 people taking on this boss. But this could mean that either Steven is pulling one fourth of the studio together to put on this massive show for us, or perhaps is letting PI testers in on the action. But regardless, this is going to be a great stream. I almost really wish they would do this live so we could see them wipe this 30 times beforehand and aggro all the surrounding mobs just for the pure comedy of it, but it probably wouldn't make for a great showcase, so I'm sure this will be edited down. I imagine we'll see for the first time in a long time these five archetypes coming together to take on these Cyclops as he roams the Riverlands, and hopefully we will see a bit more of the progress that these class kits have made from the last year or so, especially on the ones we saw earlier in the year like the Ranger and the Fighter. We would be seeing this because, well, some Somebody in the Ashes Discord asked Roshan if they could potentially show the stream from multiple points of view, which Roshan replied that this person was not the first person to ask for more points of views in streams, and he would pass on the suggestion again given what they plan to cover this month. So we very much could get a look at multiple archetypes, perhaps even giving us the fighter's action bar and ability sets for the first time as we never actually saw this side of the fighter in the melee combat stream as there was no UI present whatsoever. It could also be nice to see more of the abilities of each of the archetypes on par of what we saw from the mage last month, but that one could be a bit of a stretch. We really don't know how much they're willing to show yet, because as we've seen these classes in the background before in the previous streams, they were rocking these same four abilities they have been for the past year, but it could be time that we see these things start to come together. But we may not see this side of it as well, because editing does become an issue, because as you know, Intrepid likes to wait until pretty close to the stream to record the footage for these events, which means that they would need to take even more time to be able to jump in and edit this together after giving the multiple points of view especially if you're doing it in 4k that will add a bit of the rendering time to it and it's something that they might just not have time to do this time around if in fact pi and not developers are jumping in for testing well then we probably won't get as much of a deep dive into the fight as i would assume the players would mostly be running around paying attention to the boss mechanics as i presume they'd be new to this fight although maybe pi has been testing this thing for years i don't really know because i'm not a phoenix initiative tester and if i was i I wouldn't be able to tell you what they're showing. But I guess there's always that possibility that any of the devs in the fight could be standing back and just be commentating on what happens within the fight and going through some of the mechanics along with the thought process that went into these and the intended outcomes of it. But honestly, this is the one time where although yes, I do want to hear about the intentions regarding world bosses and Ashes of Creation and the designs behind them, but I don't really feel I need it as much as I would for a class archetype because, well, first of all, I'm a PvPer. I will be raiding in Ashes but I normally do PvP content. And second of all, this is just going to be a fun show to watch regardless. For those of you who have not been following Ashes of Creation very closely, well, world bosses in the game can have great impact on your server. These guys will tend to pop out and change based on what is happening with nodes on your server. So if one particular node never gets developed, well, then you probably won't ever see the Cyclops. But if a node gets destroyed and a new one develops, well, then that opens up the opportunity for more bosses. And when these new bosses do show up, that is something that won't be taken lightly. These world bosses won't have a fixed spawn time either. Either, they will be randomized within a certain time frame that prevents people from camping the bosses as it's been a concern in previous MMOs and something that Steven Sharif has he doesn't want one massive guild to just own that location and having more randomized spawn times will help prevent this from happening these bosses are meant to be designed with what they are calling adaptive AI that will allow for different encounters with similar creatures to yield different experiences this is something you don't really see in MMORPGs very often as the bosses at Intrepid are scripted to make decisions dynamically during a fight and also evolve based on the number of players on the battlefield and the skill of these players. This will probably tie more into dungeons and raids than singular world bosses, but it's nice to know that the game itself will react to you easily taking down that first boss, giving you a hard
harder challenge with the next fight you get into. There are also world bosses out there that can have big impacts on things such as seasons. An example given was an ice dragon burning an eternal winter until that boss is taken down, or a fire dragon wreaking havoc on a nearby node and destroying its buildings every so often until players finally team up together to take it out. Within these world bosses, there will be what are called legendary world bosses, which will be very difficult challenges and something that will take a lot of time and a lot of resources and a lot of dedication to take out. Although it doesn't sound like these Cyclops will be one of these legendary world bosses, as there seem to be multiple types of them roaming around the Riverlands, equipping multiple types of weapons. The fact though that we are actually getting a boss fight really is showing the progress of the game and Alpha 2 is finally coming together. Although we're still at least six months out, it has been a very long road for some of us, and seeing things like this functioning with players jumping in and taking down giant tree-wielding monsters is very exciting for sure. If you made it this far into the video, well then I assume that you are enjoying this content. So, do me a favor, help the channel out and click that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up as we wait for that fantastic Cyclops fight to come our way. Otherwise, if you are excited to see an actual raid take on a Cyclops next week, well, drop a comment down below. And if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot in the world of Vera. Otherwise, make sure you stay tuned for a lot more to come.